How y'all doing today? I'm here with little TJ. We're going to talk about a little bit about Sengete after I sip my coffee. Coffee, like martial arts, is the cup of life. Sengete or buño, buños, Ilongo dialect, buños, thrusting, stabbing. Now you see how the hips start to want to move right away. If we're doing like a reverse punch, we're going this way. Now, same idea with this. However, we load by coming back here and thrusting through. So that would be the way I want to load my sanguetes. Even high, I want to engage the hips. Five, here, six, seven, eight. Diving down, nine, up, ten. 11 across, and 12 across. So, I put out TJ, I could have used hot, but TJ is a little better when you practice your Sengete. Why do you ask? Why they ask? Because TJ is a little hard. So when you practice your Sengete on TJ, you get resistance, and if you mess up, you may disarm yourself. So we want to build that strong grip we've been talking about. So yeah, I'm going to move this back just a hair, so you can see me better. There we go. That'll work. You get to see more of the surrounding area too. Yeah. All right. Anyways, sengete. So we're going to sengete here. Now, as we do this, start to think about your areas of attack. If we do hammer, we we're smashing. Sanketi wants to be, be a little more refined. Your bonus want to be a little more refined, such as the eye socket, the perineum, love that one, the armpit, the armpit. Now I'm using a training uh, baton right now. You can go through all your 12 strikes. Then we can switch it up. The reason we want to switch it up because we want to get the full, uh, get the feel of the other weapons. So I'm using a bolo. Pick this up. Kind of a cool one. So now you start to see more opportunities with a long blade. Just a long blade. And if you're just striking a long blade here, you're not giving it proper justice. Now we start to move out the way every time. You can, you can use your advancing footwork or you can use your defensive footwork to practice your footwork. Mm, right to the dying chien. Paraneum. You can even strike femoral arteries, throat, eye. So we, now we add this here. We really can work our targets. I don't want to hurt TJ too much. I might want to use him later. Little Ruby loves TJ. Not. Doesn't love anything like TJ or Hawk. Get to put him downstairs there. So this is our long blade. Anatomy. Go back here. Anatomy lessons. If you're behind. Kidneys, lungs, occipital low. All right, so let me go to my short blade. Doing your sangete here again. Hips don't lie, Shakira. Hips don't lie. And all these targets. Tempo. You want a good strong grip because if you want to attack the temple, you want to drive through and make it real nasty. If you're on the throat, it's a little easier, but you can also, if you hold the blade properly, <clears throat> right between the ribs, right to the sternum, right down to the heart, right to the dine chin, right to the perineum. So there's many targets of opportunity. Now here's the ninja secret for you. They say the pen is might the pen is mightier than the sword. I don't know. They look about the same to me. They both have a tip, and I can use them the same. So once you start to get your sangeti down with your longer weapons and your shorter weapons, the world becomes your oyster. And you can have a great day, and we'll play with oysters later. What? Good God.